Hello everyone, I'm so happy you're here today. We're gonna to be making the angled trifold card and this is the one we're gonna be making today but I wanna show you these two as well. Hi Stampers, this is Dawn and today we're gonna to make the angled trifold card. So this is using the Mischievous My Stamp Set, isn't it cute? And we're gonna make our own designer paper on the background, isn't that cute with the smoky slate? And then you open it up and it says, hi sweet friend, it's your birthday. Isn't that cute? And then of course we're going to make the little belly band. So I want to show you these other two. Now we made this one in the glitter pit yesterday. So I'll have the link posted above if you want to check out the live stream from yesterday for the replay. And we're using the Hello Ladybug for the belly band. So it's hello. And then we're using the Pattern Party designer paper for the front and then another butterfly for the inside. Now I will say when you're cutting the designer paper, there is a trick. So I'll try to cover that a little bit on today's live when we get to the mouse pieces for the basic white. But if you wanna watch the full length video, I'll have the link listed above, okay? And then this one I got in a swap at our Million Dollar Achievement Retreat. And this is from Sandy Hancock. Now hers was an angled card but without the angle on the side. So you can see it's the same card. They're just not cutting the angles on the side here. So you can see here there's an angle there. So you don't even have to do that angle cut. It really makes a cute little card either way. Okay, so we're gonna make the angle part of the card. I'm gonna show you how to make that. So let's go ahead and get started. Okay, so here are the pieces. Now I'm using the Daffodil Delight and you're gonna need two pieces. One piece is cut at five and a half by 11, and then another piece cut at three fourths by nine and three fourths. And that's gonna be for the belly band. And then you're gonna need two pieces of basic white, and these are cut at three and one eighth by five and a quarter. And then for the inside, this piece is cut at four by five and a quarter. And then of course my layers, I'm using the Layering circle dies. This circle, the scallop, is about three and an eighth of a circle in size. And then the next size up, I used the crush curry. This one is approximately two and five eighths for the straight edge circle. And then the smallest circle with the basic white is, I think this one was two and three eighths. Yep, two and three eighths. Okay, so those are all in a collection of the circles. I just picked out the three that we're using today. All right, so then I went ahead and already stamped my mouse. Let me show you that stamp set. This is the Mischievous Mice, and my image is right here. And then we're also using just a quick note to say, hi friend, it's your birthday. So those two are gonna be in the inside and then this is gonna be for the front, okay? So I went ahead and stamped the mouse. Now a little trick, it's easier to stamp him first and then die cut him because you can tell he's really close to that edge of that circle. So I find that stamping first and then die cutting makes it a little bit easier. All right, so we're gonna do some scoring and some cutting. So let's go ahead and grab our paper trimmer. We're gonna score the daffodil piece first. Okay, so remember this one is five and a half by 11. And we're going to score on the 11 inch side across the top. We're going to score at 3 and 3 eighths. And 7 and 5 eighths. Okay, now I'm going to take my pencil. Now you don't have to do this part, but I want to make sure that it shows up on camera. So let me grab my pencil. I'm going to write top up here. I'm going to write bottom down here so you can see that. Okay. So along the top edge, we're going to turn it on the five and a half inch side across the top and we're going to line this edge up at one inch. And then I'm going to take my pencil and along that cutting track, we're going to make a little tiny pencil line at the top and then also at the bottom. Okay, then we're gonna turn it back on the 11 inch side. Once again, we did the one inch down. Now we're gonna go the one inch inside on the bottom edge, right down here, it's the bottom of the card. We're gonna line this edge up at one inch again. This time we're gonna mark it on the inside of the one inch, right there. And then we're gonna slide this edge over to the one inch. There's a one inch line over here and then mark that at one inch. Okay, so what we're gonna do is we're gonna take this 
score line right here and right here. I'm just going to fold them so you can see that better. And we're going to cut from the score line down to this pencil mark, then this pencil mark down to this pencil mark. And we're going to do both sides the exact same way. So we're going to line this score line up here down to this pencil line, the first pencil line at the top. And we're going to cut at an angle there. Then we're going to connect that pencil line down to this pencil line. And we're going to cut that. Okay, so there's your first angle of your trifold. Now we're going to do the exact same thing on this side. So we're going to take that score line, line that up, and then we're going to take that first pencil line. Okay, so we're going to line it up like that. And then we're going to cut that angle. Then we're going to line that pencil line up and cut it down to that second pencil line. Right about there. Okay, so then this is your second angle for your trifold. Isn't that awesome? So see the top and the bottom and then you have your angle going this way and then going down inward on both sides. Okay, now we got to do our designer paper, which is going to be the basic white. So let's grab those pieces and we're going to do the exact same thing. But this time we're going to layer these together so we only have to make a couple cuts instead of cutting each piece individually. We'll just cut them the same way. Now on the ladybug card with the designer paper, if you have designer paper, you'll want to flip one of your pieces over when you're cutting them both at the same time because the angles I will show you this on the card so once you flip your designer paper the flip will make the one side the correct way for the other angle side okay so like I said if you want to catch out the ladybug video I'll post the link down below and I'll have the link right to the moment when we're talking about the designer paper Okay, so we're going to do the exact same thing. So these are both cut at three and one eighth by five and a quarter. Okay, so I wrote top and bottom here. So the top with the five and a quarter inch side across the top. I'm going to line that up at one inch. We're going to make a pencil line right here. Okay, then on our bottom side, we're going to turn it on the three and one eighth side, and we're going to go in one inch. I'm going to line that up at one inch right there. So what we're going to do is we're going to cut both pieces. We're going to cut from this point down to this angle, then this angle down to this point. Okay. So let me go ahead and line this point up with that first one inch pencil mark. Remember, we're cutting through two pieces of basic white. Okay. Now we're going to cut this point down to this bottom point to get our angles. So these will be the mats on our daffodil. I gotta move that over just a little bit more, right about there. Okay, so cut those. Okay, so now if I was to keep these the same, so let's say I had the designer paper, they were cut both the same, you can tell that these are not going to fit both sides. Now these will fit on this side, but when I go to do them on this side, this is why you want to turn the one upside down. If you're using designer paper, basic white, it doesn't matter. So then this side will fit on this side, okay? I know it's like a little confusing, especially with us using the basic white. So make sure you check out the ladybug card that we made yesterday in the glitter pit. So that will explain a lot of it if you're using designer paper. Okay. So, but we're going to make our own designer paper with this card. So with the basic white, it's white on both sides is what I'm saying. And the, and the designer paper, you have to cut specifically one way for each piece to fit on the angle section. Okay. All right, so now let me erase my pencil marks. I got my mono sand eraser. I'll have the link to this too. I got these from Amazon. So there's my top and my bottom. Make sure 
Yep. All right, so now we're going to go ahead and do some stamping. We're going to stamp our little mouse. And I'm going to use the Smoky Slate Classic Ink. Now we want to make sure which section this piece is going to go here. So I'm going to stamp on this side facing up. And then this side is going to go on here like this. So make sure you do a test run to make sure you're stamping on the right side. Okay. So these are both of the sides the correct way, the way it's going to face on our card. We're going to take our piece of cheese with our mouse. And I'm just going to stamp randomly, turning the designer paper and the stamp just randomly in different positions to create my own designer paper on the front of these panels. Okay, so I just created my own designer paper. Isn't that cute? All right, now we're going to go ahead and stamp the inside of our card. Remember, this is your four by five and a quarter piece of basic white. And we're going to stamp our greetings along with the, the piece of cheese, just the corner side of it. You might remember when we made this card here last week using the mouse stamp set on this piece on the inside we stamp just the corner piece of the cheese we're going to do the same thing for this one so i just need the edge of the cheese we're just going to stamp this right over here and then i'm going to stamp hi sweet friend i'm going to stamp that greeting first and then this one it's your birthday and hopefully this is straight. Yep. Hi, sweet friend. It's your birthday. And then while I'm stamping, I'm going to go ahead and stamp just a quick note. So I have a piece of scrap. I'm going to just stamp this here. And then we're just going to hand cut that out. Okay. I'm going to hand cut that piece out. All right. So that's all the stamping. All right. Let's bring in our card. Let's go ahead and adhere our pieces onto the card. So now this is going to go on the inside. I'm just going to use the stamp and seal, but you could also use liquid glue. We're going to cover up that top and bottom section that I wrote on there with the pencil. All right. So then your card's going to close shut like this or like this, whatever way it can go either way. And now these go on a certain way, especially since we stamped them. So we want to put these on the panels where they go. This one's going to go over here. Now, if you use liquid glue, you'll have a little wiggle room to put that on there really nice. But with the pieces cut at three and an eighth by five and a quarter, you shouldn't have any problem layering because you'll have that nice edge. Isn't that cute? All right, now my little greeting is going to go down here, but first we're going to go ahead and color my mouse. Let me show you what I'm using to color that in. So we're using the Daffodil Combo, light and dark, and I'm using the Petal Pink in the light, the Pool Party in the light, and then the Smoky Slate Combo. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and color my cheese. Now, what I did with this one, I used both the dark and the light. I used the dark with the uh, circles of the cheese, and then the rest of it I used with the light. Okay, so there's the front. Isn't it cute? The house is so cute. All right, so now we're going to layer our pieces together for the front. Okay, so we're going to use our bone folder. We're going to burnish this edge really nice. Okay, and the belly band 
we're just going to wrap this around a piece of daffodil and the belly band will help keep the card closed so remember when you're doing the belly band around the card you don't want it really super tight you just want it snug so I'm just going around the corners and pressing it into place and then I'm going to grab some tear and tape you just need a little tiny piece tear that off and then just put that right onto one of the ends where that's going to stick down. Let me get my take your pick tool. And line that up. And I like sealing mine in the front so there's no seam or anything on the back or showing anywhere else. And then your mouse is going to be covering that up. Okay, so we're going to use some dimensionals. And I'm also going to secure the gathering of that belly band. I'm just going to put the dimensionals right over that seam to secure that even more. Take the backing off. Then we're going to put our cute little mouse on the front. Isn't that cute? And then you want it to be able to slide off the card. Okay. So then you would slide it off and then there's the card. All right, now we're going to add our little greeting. Remember, we got to cut that out. You want to have your belly band on the card so we know where to position this on the front. And then also the side that you want the greeting on, the just a quick note to say, will be the actual front of the flap that you want to flap over to the front. Okay, so let me go ahead and cut this out. Okay, so I'm just going to use my paper snips. Okay, and we're going to put this on to basic black. And we're going to hand cut that out as well. Okay, and then this is going to go on this side, or like on my finished one, I had it on the right hand side. So we'll put this one on this side. And I'm going to pop that up on a dimensional as well. Put two of them on there. Isn't that cute? So then the receiver knows that that's the flap that goes over on the front. So just a quick note to say, and then you slide the belly band off. Hi, sweet friend. It's your birthday. Isn't that cute? And then you can sign it. So cute. And then you could do the front to the inside as well if you wanted. Okay, so then we're just going to put that back together. I'm going to show you the other ones. And I have my other, my other two mice cards. I'll show you those as well. So there's those two. So now this is this week's card sketch. Isn't that cute? So this was posted on Monday. I'll have the link listed down below as well for that. And then here's the one that we made last week with the fun fold that I made for swaps for the million dollar achievement party that I went to. And then here's the one that we made in the glitter pit live. So now this one has two ladybugs. This one has a ladybug with hello and then another one on the inside. That's really cute. And then this one, if you didn't want to even do the angles, you can see the difference on the card. So both of them are still cute. So it's up to you if you want to do it or not. Just wanted to show you a variety, okay? Okay, so that's it. And if you have any questions, please let me know. And I'll have all the items listed down below. And if you like today's video, give me a thumbs up. Okay, I'll see you later. Bye.